Ah, bollocks. Okay, guys, welcome to another uh, retro buy video. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to show you any more of this thing, um, but I thought that would make this the very last one. Because, as uh, anyone that watches my waffle will know, I was actually waiting on some side art to arrive. It's now arrived and it's now in place. So, this is it, finally. Um, it's not really focusing on oh, There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, this is it. Um, <laughs> I shall show you a little light on the thing. I have now got a proper Space Invaders bezel, which I think looks, I'll turn the light out, I think it looks quite funky. There you go, it's a full, uh, proper professional jobby. None of this uh, photocopied malarkey. So yeah, got that. Um, round the side, I have got Space Invaders. It looks quite nice. I've got to say it's really good quality. Um, it cost me, what did it cost me? It cost me 15 quid um, for each side. So it was £30 for the side art and that thing at the front, that was £6. If anyone wants a link to the guy, uh, it's a guy, Ollie, who does all the arcade stuff. He does it for lots of like, professional guys who build arcade cabs. So it's really good quality. And the great thing is you can actually unpeel it and put it back on again quite easily. So you've got that, and then you've got on the other side as well. So yeah, I am pretty pleased with it. The only thing I'm still kind of struggling with, as I've mentioned before, the if you plug, I've got USB um, speakers. Now, they need a, a power source. If you plug them directly into Pi, you get really, really bad feedback, really bad static feedback which I couldn't put up with. When there's not any noise, you just get this real horrible scratch interference sound. So I've got a mobile phone charger providing the power. But the problem is the mobile phone charger only goes, only stays on for a couple of minutes, then it goes off. So I've now got the mobile phone charger plugged into the Pi. So technically the Pi is powering that as well. And uh, you do get sort of uh, power issues with it. So I don't know, I don't have a, a good workaround other than going and getting a second plug and having two plugs coming out of the thing, which I'd prefer not to do. Um, I've currently got, I say it's a thing, I mean, what well, I've got it wired up to the, the mobile um, charger thing. As long as you don't go pound it, you know, turn the volume right up to full, it should be okay. But I'll let you listen to the sound. Um, let's see, we'll stick on a Mega Drive game. But I've got to say, I absolutely love this thing. The, the controls are just sublime. I say that's courtesy of my good mate Mike, Mike Hansen. He does an absolute stonking job. I'll get my ugly face out of the road for a second. So I've currently got the sound turned up to 50%. And as you'll hear, it's pretty loud. And I'll turn this light off again. I will be getting back to normal videos um, probably Thursday. So apologies for lack of lack of stuff. So I mean that's it turned up to fifty percent. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. That is my little pie cab. Now the other bit of side art, which I have only waited about two years to get, it's a proper Robotron Beezel. There she is. That is much, much, much nicer. Um, the one I had before was just a photocopy. Not a photocopy, I printed it on my printer. So that is a lot, lot nicer. I'm really, really pleased with that. It just looks proper. It looks like a real arcade cab. Um, Beazel thing. So yeah, that's it, guys. Apologies for a short video, but since I will return probably Thursday, and I shall get back in track. And very lastly, as usual, thank you very much for watching.